Hey everyone, welcome to That Pedal Show. Dan here. Mick here, hello. Welcome to today's challenge video, which is uh, the three course meal pedal board challenge. Before that, some housekeeping. Indeed. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. A massive thank you to anyone that's gone to thatpedalshowstore.com and bought some merch. For example, new Christmas tees. Yeah, come on. It's not long to go now uh, if you're watching this at, uh, around the Yuletide season. So um, uh, head to thatpedalshowstore.com and pick one of those up. Please also check out thatpedalshop.com in the US and Canada. And please also check out patreon.com slash thatpedalshow uh, if you would like to support us in that way. Very nice. Okay, this was Dan's idea. Well, actually, no, this was Catherine's idea. I simply embellished upon it. Oh, nice. Okay, so it is Dan versus Mick, the three course meal pedal board challenge. Uh, we thought it was high time for a challenge video. We do yeah, like to do yes, challenge videos. Yes, we do, videos. and haven't, it's been a while. And uh, to celebrate the launch of our Tone Soup art prints, yes. which you can also get at that pedalshowstore.com. Very nice um, they are too. Dan and Catherine have come up with the three course meal pedal board challenge. Contestants must. Indeed. Here are the rules. Make a pedal board that consists of at least a starter, a main course, uh, and a desert. And some a uh, dessert. There you go. <laughs> oh no, I've got the Sahara Drive. Um, points will be awarded for fantastic food references, whether direct or tenuous. They may be very tenuous. I think Dan's building up for a giant gag here. Is what what, what it feels like. The winner shall be they who can dine out successfully on their new board in a wide variety of musical styles and situations. Gentlemen, bon appetit. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, how are we going to do this then? One each? Yeah, let's do one each. Okay, uh, I think some background is required. Indeed. Okay, great challenge. What a great challenge idea. Um, something came to me immediately. Jam pedals, right? Easy. We love the guys at Jam, love everything they do, so... The Delay Llama Extreme. Now, I don't necessarily want to eat the llama, but you know, uh, I'll go with jam, and that might be my dessert as a kind of jam roly poly. Jam and llama? A jam rolled llama? The other pedal I knew instantly because we did it in a um, pedal jams yesterday, and we don't call it pedal jams anymore. The Leighton Lemon Audio Hertz. Uh, we played it in. Um, NPD yesterday and it just sounded ace and I've got another little twist uh, on the latent lemon which is going to involve some chicken da, da, da. Pedal porn chicken quiff which is uh, a remake of the Cesar Diaz tremolo lemon and chicken lemon chicken we'll make up a dish around that uh, a jam roly-poly so um, I need something for a starter. Okay, finally then, uh, in between trying to grade next week's show. There it is, look. Thanks, Da Vinci. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> I found the uh, Red Beard Effects Angry Rhubarb. So I'm thinking about a goat's cheese and rhubarb uh, blinis kind of a starter thing. That would work, I think. Um, or the J Rocket Chicken Soup which was their take, I think, on the Nobles ODR1. The safe bet would be chicken soup, right? But I've already got a chicken main course, so um, in the interests of experimentation and uh, menu diversity, I think we'll probably go with the angry rhubarb and uh, experiment, try something new, a new palette. How wonderful. Right then, pedal board build time. I think uh, it can go on, hopefully it can all fit on my Schmidt Array SA250. Oh wow, it's actually empty. So you're going first, you're going second, you're going third, you're going last. That's gonna work. I shall come back momentarily. Step one, Velcro. Always use 3M Jewel Lock on the pedal side and soft Velcro on the pedal board. That means you can stick it and re-stick it loads of times. Now, of course, it can pull the finish off your paint, your pedals, so you need to be careful about that. Anyway, four little squares. Four, done. Repeat for all pedals.
Next, power. Thankfully, these are all analog devices, therefore require almost next to nothing current-wise, so they can all run uh, off an isolator. This takes 130 milliamps, which is slightly more than an isolator can supply, so I'm gonna have to add um, uh, a high current adapter for that. So I need one distributor, one isolator, and one high current adapter, because uh, I'm using Dan's Gigwig power supply, because that's what I have. Okay, as mentioned, in under here, distributor takes the power from the uh, generator uh, out to, to one isolator, which is powering the latent lemon, the chicken quiff, and the angry rhubarb. And then the other output goes to a Time Lord, a high current adapter, which is going to be powering the Delay Llama. Arguable whether it actually needs it or not. It's probably, to be fair, just for the startup rather than the actual um, operation of the pedal. So once we plug this in there, come on. Everything should come on. On, 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 on. This is good. This is good. Uh, right, audio is just a case of putting jacks from one pedal to the next. As I said, the order is going to be one, two, three, four, amp. And let's have a think to see if there's any thematic things we can add to the amplifier choice. Uh, let's see. Mesa, Zilla. Could eat dinosaurs, I suppose. Matchless, Two Rock, CRS, Vibroverb, Hot Rod Deluxe, Victory, Mesa. Can't really eat any of that. Boogie, Cali, Mig, Soft Tech, Boom, Kitchen. I think that's standing out front so far. Vox, High Watt, Wallace, Mesa, Fender, Hughes and Kettner, Two Rock, Tasty, TS, Tasty One, Tasty One, that could work. So is it Two Rock Tasty One or is it Audio Kitchen? Hmm. Okay, a three course meal. I do have an idea, but it's pretty tenuous. So I've got no doubt that I'm going to lose points. However, you've got to go for the gag, haven't you? You've got to go for the gag. Right. You. 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 Definitely you. And that's obvious. Okay, I'm gonna get this lot together. But I do need to make a couple of modifications. So let's see how we go. Okay. So this will be the layout, um, but I Again, I do need to make a couple of modifications and we will see what they are in due course. I can't wait to see what you come up with, mate. Okay. Right. <laughs> well. Um, uh, just to, to make it absolutely clear, we don't know what each other has done yet. You guys yeah, right. do. We don't. Yeah, yeah. You have no idea. Okay. So I have got, there's no reference to food between, from here, right? Apart from, do you like TV dinners, telly dinners? Okay. I, I'd say that works. Yeah. But this has got, this is not a telly dinner. This yeah. is just proper. I've got the starter caster. Very nice, <laughs> very nice. Okay, so 
What amp have you chosen, Dan? I've, I've uh, chosen the Deluxe Reverb. For no other reason than I think it'll sound best with the chosen uh, accoutrement. I've chosen the Audio Kitchen because it's a food reference. Get it? Very good. Uh, uh, one for you. You'll see this on the VT, but I was I was almost going to have the Two Rock Tasty one. Nice. But I thought that was too tenuous. Anyway, okay. Audio Kitchen, thank you very much. I think. Well, com compared to what I've done, that's not tenuous at all, mate. <laughs> all right. So we're starting off with our entree. Yeah. Of plum tuna. And what's your uh... so? Oh, that's very good. Plum tuna that's and a small bit of rice. This is our entree. Very good. Okay. So a bit of plum tuna. Um, that is such a great pedal. This is amazing. So this is the uh, green carrots pedal. Um, so so you've, you've nailed it right across the board. You've got it in the pedal title and in the yeah, brand I'm, name. Yeah, yeah. I'm, so I'm, I've got ingredients to my meals. Nice. Right. This is, this is good. I feel like I'm going to get hammered today. No, no, no. I don't, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, now this thing's amazing. So there are two circuits of this. The right hand side was basically a modded Big Muff. Yeah. Is there, is there a, yeah, yeah. a way to say it's a, it's Muff a, clones? It's a Muff inspired fuzz. There you go. Very good. And the left hand side is heavily influenced by the Power booster. Power, power booster, exactly. I remember when we did this on a, on a VCQ or something, on a uh, ABCDEFG, one of those shows, uh, right. we were completely blown away by it. Yeah, it's very, it's very nice. It's it very some... nice. Uh, okay, so a clean tone. Superb. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, Superb. if I might employ another food-related reference there. Indeed. And then you've got the power booster side. So I'll just get these down to seven o'clock. You've got to hear them together. Yeah, yeah, Shape switch do? Uh, changes the EQ. Mid response or something? Yeah. The, the muff side alone is, I'd get it just for that. It's the so good. Booster, it's so good. It's, it's so, good. so, so good. Nice. So fuzz and boost. Uh, that's given me an idea for something I want to change on my board, actually. Okay. In terms of pedal order. Let's just remind ourselves that is a Fender 65 Deluxe Reverb. <laughs> it's just extraordinary. It's sounding completely mega. Yeah, I, I've always loved muffs with yeah. that app. Yeah. It's, they, they sound really good. It's on uh, It's on its point where it wakes up, which is between four and a half and five. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Congratulations, Daniel. So that's my entree. <laughs> yeah. I need to remember how this amp works. Okay. Because I can't actually so we might just have to spend a second doing that that's okay um 
Okay, my input is on the back here, look. Nice. See that? So let's start with the amp. I'm just going to get a tone out of the amp. I haven't chosen it just because it's called Kitchen. It has possibly among the best reverbs I've ever heard in an amp ever. It's, amp. Is, yeah, it's just astonishing. Yeah. So uh, bear with me one second. Yeah. Big, um, big shout out to Steve Crow at Audio Kitchen. Um, he really does make extraordinary gear. <laughs> Very nice. Eventually pretty happy with that. There's some crosstalk going on on my uh, board there, which I'm not very happy about. Okay. Okay, pedal number one. Pedal number one. Angry Rhubarb. I've Brilliant. chosen this for two reasons. Brilliant. One is called Rhubarb, yep. which will be my goat's cheese and rhubarb uh, tartlets, which would make a nice canapé or a starter even. Um, it's by uh, Mikey Demas uh, and Thorpey. And the reason I've chosen it, mm -hmm. I was gonna choose the um, J Rocket Chicken Soup, but for other reasons, you'll see why I haven't chosen that. Okay. Now, I've never, literally never plugged it in before, so I'm trying something new. Great. Yeah. It's You're got, being adventurous with your with your meal. Yeah, with yeah. You, gotta, you know, love that. It's got parametric mid pre and post drive, so it should work as anything from a boost to quite an aggressive distortion and a shaper. Okay. And having just heard your uh, power boost at the end, I might end up rewiring it to put it at the end. Okay. Anyway, let's go. Let's see what we find out. <laughs> So the reason I've chosen this is I figure I can probably dial it in to do a TSE type thing. Okay, okay, Let's all see. right. So uh, you've got this parametric mid, right? So we'll find out where the where it is. Powerful. If Tube Screamer sounded like that, I'd be into them. May have over the pudding, Dan. I know. I I like it. It's great. I, I think, think it's, it's a strong start. Too much crossover with my next pedal. Okay. All right. Okay. So we've had the starter. <laughs> now moving on to the main course. All right. So when I I lived in Bondi, I used to make this awesome chicken curry. It was really great. So. First part of the chicken curry is wind through the jeans, because that would be always the product of the chicken curry. But I would, I would also, um, uh, there was this amazing uh, kosher butcher in Bondi called Hadassah, and I would go and get my meat from there, my chicken. It was awesome. Unfortunately, they didn't make it through COVID. Um, but it was my favourite place to buy meat from, and so this was my hello to my friends from the Hadassah Butchers. <laughs> so you've basically changed the name of two battles. Yes. Wind through the jeans and the uh, the shalom. shalom 
uh, dual echo. Congratulations, Dan. <laughs> so the the course is actually what? It's my chicken curry. Chicken curry. Yeah. Okay, because you've got a fart and a <laughs> greeting. <laughs> okay. Well done, mate. Excellent. Tenuous. I said it was tenuous. Yeah, yeah. A hell of a hell of a tonal palette though going on there, I think. Indeed. Indeed. Um, yeah, so you know, we all know what this thing sounds like. I've got a question. Yes. Why the hell did you arrange them on the pedal board like that? Because the only other pedal board, the only other pedal boards I had, I couldn't fit them. What's wrong with up here? I just, I, I thought linear was easier to <laughs> explain. <laughs> I, yeah, I know, and you've had to do this. I know the camera thing. It's, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I didn't. Didn't say I was going to think it through. <laughs> so cool. anyway, my chicken curry. Yeah, great. Regardless of your tenuous pedal name connections, <laughs> that is shaping up to be a very, very serious board. Um, yeah, yes, it's giving me some, some ideas. Tremendously cool. Okay, uh, I too have a dual, um, a dual main course. Uh, yeah, main course. Nice, nice. Before we do, I'm just going to check the uh, channel that the other channel doesn't have more headroom because this amp doesn't have enough headroom for me. Uh, okay. Your... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Two course. Two. Uh, two part main course yes it is lemon of oh, nice very nice chicken <laughs> okay. very good latent lemon audio uh hurts which is a take on the old oh i think i said it in the vt i never remember what it's called but the harmonic percolator yeah harmonic percolator it's it's we did it in a um, NPD, and it's just it's just one of the most glorious distortion pedals.
It's a good reminder that you probably need to check your stuff before you pair it together. But how, it's very hard to do that in this situation because it sounds can't see. ace, but it's just killing that. Sure. Uh, okay, so lemon chicken, chicken yes. quiff is the. Um, it's a remake of the Cesar Diaz tremadillo or oh, okay. tremo something or other, the tremolo pedal that he made um, that was much loved by Pedal Porn. Literally never plugged it in. It is having a bit of crosstalk yeah. on the uh, thing there. So let's see what happens. Uh, apologies for the continuity break. We've we've powered it with more current because it seems to be struggling, yeah. and it was creating a noise. So let's 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 try again. Some sort of sawtooth wave. Well, it's supposed, it's supposed to be like a Fender Black Panel type tremolo. Okay, but um, it's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's chicken. I've chosen the wrong amp, mate. No, it's chicken. I can't get any headroom out of it. Okay, it's making me Struggling. really sad. Oh, dude. So it uh, does sound really great. Carry though. on. <laughs> Wish I'd chosen the two wrong. Um, so for pudding. Yep. Nice. Had to be. Nice. Yeah. It's bit been of, a while since I've seen this. It's been a bit of hot cake, a bit of a la mode, a bit of, you know, custard. <laughs> so this is a very special pedal. Um, made by Paul Crowther. Uh, he used to play drums in Split Ends. And uh, anyone that saw the video we did with Neil Finn, Neil Finn still has his original hot cake on his board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a really special overdrive into bright amplifiers, I find. It loves um, fenders and voxes and anything chimey. I think it works. It's magic. going to be very nice to hear it again.
sorry, I'm really sorry I touched your knob. So, but it's that, dessert, mate. It's all right. I didn't know if you were going to get there or not. And Dan, Dan's not a fan of really heavy, heavy game, but that thing does something so special when well, you get cracked. it up there. You yeah, get this yeah, yeah. real mid-range boost in it that's just incredible. Yeah, it's quite unique, actually. I haven't. <laughs> it's also old and very cronky. Yeah, it needs it needs a good service. Um, <laughs> But it's a, so I bought this from David Moist, who was the guitar player in Air Supply. And I bought this, it's gotta be 30 years ago. I can't put up with that, sorry. No worries, no worries. There you go. All right. Actually, it's probably just as much me. There's a mixture. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I've, that was my main overdrive for, it was that and the, and the uh, King of Tone for the longest time. Mm. Uh, treble booster into that thing into an AC30. It just does the most wonderful mid-range thickening thing when you get it up there. It's yeah. just such a lovely sound. Yeah, now it's, it's awesome. Okay, I'll reveal the last pedal, then we'll just do some tones. I think you've smashed it, mate. Really killer, killer board. Interesting putting the hot cake on the end. Well, because it was my dessert. Oh, I see. So you see, normally put. I would it there. not have put it at the end. <laughs> uh, th th my dessert is a jam roly poly. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, very nice. Purely there. I mean, you could have a bit of llama in it if you wanted, but <laughs> the llama in your jam roly poly. I'm not a fan of llama in my jam roly poly. Um, llama and jam. I did think about having a restaurant once, which is where all the stuff had to rhyme, so you could have jam, lamb, and ham. And spam. And spam. Anyway. Um, just to finish off an absolutely dreadful showing from me this week, I have had to get the manual because I cannot for the life of me. This thing sounds unbelievable. Yep. And the only reason it's not on my pedal board is because I cannot remember how, how, yeah, how, right. how the, the modes work. Yep. With apologies to uh, our lovely friends at Jam. Um, anyway, it's just the most fantastic analog delay with, with um, modulation. a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, in it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see if I can make it work. So it, that's obviously in the filter mode. Okay. If you go to one of these other modes. Shifting. Right. <laughs> That's not pitch shifting, that might be the modulation mode. Okay. Extreme modes, number one, vibrato, number two, tape age, number three, random, number four, pitch shift. Okay. So this, uh, this the is tape the tape page. age, yeah, right. which is the one I was actually looking for. Mm-hmm. 
Sounds like me after my curry. <laughs> Total indigestion. Uh, it was great. No. <laughs> it really wasn't great. Well, I think the Delay Llama, I just, I, I want to apologize to Jam and say that it is a fantastic pedal if you can just work out how the hell it works. Yeah. Which I just can't. Um, you, there's some combination of holding this down and pressing this, which changes things. And if I read the manual, I'm sure I could get my head around it. But when it's doing a just bit of a subtle modulation mm. and that tape age thing, it is it's magic. Fantastic. The yeah. analog delay sounds are out of this world. Yeah. And then of course, if you're of a mind to do all the pitch shifting stuff and the random stuff, you've got a, like a tiny hint of it in there. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. But I think um, I've come to the wrong restaurant today, Dan. I think that's uh, just the truth of the matter. Okay. Uh, it's all right. You better finish us off with some some good tones, I think. Okay, I'll have a go. I'll have a go.
Congratulations, mate. It's a fair fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's that's us even now, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure this would have all sounded better with with a combination of someone else playing the guitar and a no. and a different amp. Right. Because these two don't they, suit that at all. They need all. the hi-head room. Yeah, they need yeah. to be able to hit something really hard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and if I could only use this, uh, learn how to use it, it sounds great. That I'm just not sure about. Yeah. I need to hear that used by someone who knows how to use it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know the history of the the Tremadillo thing. It's a it's an interesting shape. It's the sawtooth type yeah, thing. Yeah. Well, it's it's uh, renowned, like a couple of grand used ones. No way. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's really well renowned. So it's it's obviously it's down to me not understanding it rather than it not sounding good. I'm sure. Okay. Anyway, congratulations, there mate. There we Thank go. Thank you very much. Three Thank course meal, pedal board challenge. Uh, I think dining with Dan is the way to go. Are you uh, fancy an aperitif? Uh, no, I'm going to go home and throw up. Brilliant. Thank you so much for watching. Um, a massive thank you to anyone that's gone to that pedalshowstore.com and grabbed some merch. Uh, some Christmas teas are in the shop now. Uh, but again, thank you for your support. Massive thank you to our preferred retailers in the UK and Europe is... And this is music of Guildford in Surrey. And our mates in Australia. Would be Pedal Empire of Brisbane in Queensland. Uh, also, thank you to all of our American friends who have gone to... Thatpedalshop.com. Please go there, buy stuff. Uh, it helps us out. Uh, and also thank you to anyone who's gone to patreon.com slash thatpedalshow to support us there. Weekly podcasts and indeed a monthly giveaway. Fantastic. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. We'll see you on Monday for viewers... Comments and questions. <laughs> See you then. Cheers, guys. Bye.